Hey everybody, good afternoon and welcome back uh, to our, our series of podcasts here we're talking about why home staging is for everyone. My name is Patrick and this is Annie. Hi guys. And we're with Step by Stage Interiors Home Staging here in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, and today's talking point is how and why everybody should get maximum price point for their home. Why your home should sell for maximum yeah. dollar. And we're going to kind of teach you guys a, a couple little tricks too to make sure that you guys do get top dollar. We kind of went over that in the last episode with the offer, so we're not going to like dig dig deep into it, um, but we'll just recap a lot on that. Yep, absolutely. Um, so some of our talking points today that's really you know important for us to want to try to communicate to you guys as as sellers and as realtors are. You know, why do you want max price point? You know, people obviously want to make the most for dollar for their house, right? That's, right. that's clear. But Everybody for, has a different why. Right. But for what reason, right? So are you just wanting to list your house and maybe get full price offer, which is great, but maybe that is the only offer you might get. Are you looking for multiples? So where if you could, through professional staging, make anywhere from 1% to 17% more than your asking price, which happens to be a statistic yeah. uh, from the NAR. Real Estate Staging Association and NAR, the National Association yeah. of Realtors. You know, who would not want to do that, right? Everybody wants to make more money. Duh, it's common sense. But I guess going back to your first question is like, why do yeah, you why? want maximum? Exactly. Right? Like, are you guys wanting to put a big down payment on a larger house? And that's why you want maximum price for the house that you're selling. Or for your kids' college funds. You know, yeah. if you can make fifteen, thirty, forty five thousand dollars or more over asking price, what can you do with that money? Or are you getting ready to downsize and want to put some money into your retirement? That's right. And that's another, you know, reason why a lot of people want maximum, maximum dollars. Do you need a new car? Are you getting ready to mm -hmm. put a down payment on, on a car or maybe paying cash? Um, are you looking to put some money into savings for a rainy day? Investments. You know, investment like, properties, it's, you know, mutual funds, retirements, you know, so many reasons why, you know, people would like to make or, or have more money and professional home staging can get you that. Yeah. It's, it's a proven And fact. your house is usually the largest investment that you have. That's right. And so everybody wants to capitalize on that, right? And get as much as possible from um, your sale. That's exactly, that's exactly correct. Um, when we talk to our clients and Annie and I will go on consultations together, Sometimes Annie will go on her own. Sometimes it's just myself. But during the consultation portion, we're always talking about return on investment. Yes. Uh, talk about more return on investment for what our clients, clients usually ask us all the time. Yeah, a lot of clients always ask us, if I stage, how much more can I get for my house? Um, and that's the return on investment. And we do have some numbers on this that we keep track of because in order to run a successful business, you need to know your numbers, right? So our numbers are between 300 to 900% mm -hmm. on a return on of investment. Um, for the, sta the staging price of what it costs to stage your house and then what the house sells for, that's about a three to 300 to 900% return, which yeah, is huge. And we have that information because people always ask always. us that. They want to know, right, during the consultation with the stager, you know, why should I invest money into staging my property? What is it going to do mm -hmm. for me? The, what's in it for me? Well, and uh, let's face it. When you're getting ready to sell your house, you don't want to put any more money into your house that is not necessary, yes. right? So you're kind of like overspending and you're like, okay, if I'm going to spend money now on staging, why should I do this? Correct. Well, we never want you to spend money. We want you to make money. So in order to make you money, we have to be able to, you know, educate our audience on why staging can make you more money. And, and that's why we know our numbers. That's right. And when it comes to brass tacks, when you want to try to get top dollar for your property, properties that do get top dollar are taken care of. They're well-maintained. Yeah. They're organized. They show beautifully, mm -hmm. uh, which is why so many, you know, model, you know, home builders and, and design centers always have a model, right? Yeah. People go to tour I worked houses. for builders for years mm -hmm. and there was a reason why home builders do a model house in every single one of their developments. It's because everybody walks in and they start dreaming of what their house could look like and their future will look like, right? So if builders are doing it because they know they can capture more people's attention and, and get more people moving That's into right. their developments, exactly. then, you know, houses that are already built, that are already established, that um, are either, you know, historical or maybe they're only like five years old, right, in the neighborhoods, they need to compete with 
what the builders are doing that's too. That's right. And so. to Annie's great point, you know, a lot of times mm -hmm. a new construction is competing against new construction. All the so time. We see this all the yeah, time. Yeah, if you purchase a new construction mm -hmm. house or within a one or couple one or two years, you know, you may need to sell for whatever reason that may be. Yeah. Your new construction house that's now been kind of lived in, like when you buy a car and you roll it off the lot for the first few months, it's gonna depreciate, even though the housing market if you're is going appreciated. against the builder because but if you're they going always new have construction. They have really good incentive programs yes, to get you specials, to build, right? That's so right. So that house that you're selling, maybe it's like uh, older development, is going against the new development it's, right behind you or across right. the street from you. It's already experiencing a challenge in its own going up against brand new construction. You know, why would I want to yeah. buy a house that's two years old that's been lived in that's still new construction when I can get a new construction with all these incentives? Built how I want it. That's right. So what's your so. differentiator? What's your competitive marketing advantage? It's going to get you yes. the maximum price point for your house. And that mm -hmm. is usually your professional home staging and why so many people are doing it yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And it's move-in ready, right? Like you don't have to wait six months or nine months for it to be built. Yes. So, um, but if you can capture, make it look like a model home already done for them, that could be your winning answer. Exactly. Uh, and at the end of the day, what matters most to us, speaking for ourselves and our own business, um, is three main things, right? We want to make sure our clients can sell their house quickly. We want to make sure our, our clients can sell their house for maximum mm -hmm. dollar and price point and return on investment. We also want to make sure our clients have a great experience with utilizing and collaborating with our business. Communication, yeah. transparency, accuracy, and, and documents that are being sent out. All those things go a long, long way into finding like the best stager versus maybe just a stager. So when you're looking for stagers, you know, you're looking for a lot of things that can help you get maximum value for yes. your property. And all those decisions will definitely help you ensure that you have the right team in place to represent what you're selling. Um, you know, us and your realtor or whoever you guys hire will represent you and and the brand that you're putting out there, right? For your product. That's right. Your house. When people feel confident about their house, when a realtor and a home seller feels like elated that their house mm -hmm. looks great, it shows great, that just good, you know, as one of our lease stagers would say, that good juju, that yes. mojo just brings it into fruition. So when you have a positive vibe to start, you're usually going to get a positive result. And then that's what we want to do when we collaborate with our with our team. You know, we become part of your team at Set by Stage when we're staging properties. Absolutely. So this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode just because we definitely talked a lot about this mm -hmm. and the offering episode. And so we just wanted to recap just a little bit on return of investment because we didn't really target that when we were talking about the offers. But your return on investment for staging and making sure that your house is marketed perfect is really important. That's right. And to ensure that you're getting maximum price point to recap, you need to make sure that you as an agent or you as a homeowner, you have every possible marketing advantage uh, delivered to you or explained to you to, be, to get top dollar for that property. And those things include um, obviously professional staging, which is what we're talking about today, but it includes hiring the right realtor, hiring the right stager, uh, making sure that you're doing the appropriate things to your property to get top dollar for it. Uh, and you can always yeah. get a lot of those suggestions from great agents uh, or great stagers that can come in and give you most in, in most times consultations that are complimentary. Mm -hmm. So you can get some information on should you want to choose to stage or not. And that's ultimately yeah. always up to the buyer and to the seller. Exactly. So, again, if you guys want to sign up and hear more of what we have to say, um, please sign up in your email below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And... We are going to be done then today. Yeah, we have, uh, if you subscribe uh, at the link below or on the screen, uh, you can get uh, a wonderful, like, very simplistic PDF copy of, of everything that we've talked about in our first series, uh, Why Home Staging is for Everyone, uh, including all the different talking points that we've mentioned uh, that are great things to have handy for if and when yeah. you need it, uh, whether that's tomorrow, a month away, or next year. As a seller and agent, you have what you need, and we'd love to give that to you guys um, as well and to have that for when you need it. Awesome. All right. Well, until next time, guys, we are going to say goodbye. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time for our next topic.